Hey everybody, Tyler the here, Shine Pros .com. Today I'm just going to show you how to rip your home DVDs to your Mac using um, a couple of programs. I already have the DVD up here in the corner loaded into it. And um, this is, I'm going to be doing Karate Kid 2. Um, so down here in your menu bar, I have um, Handbrake installed. I will put this in the description. Go ahead and open Handbrake here. And you see it uh, starting up here. And then it gives you an option of where, what data you want to grab. And see here, you probably want, yeah, this one I hit the DVD. Or you can find it in different locations. But normally, um, it'd just be right there. And that works fine. This is the DVD that you have installed. And um, now it's going to be loading the, um, basically loading the DVD. And it's going to start reading and make sure that everything's there. And be going with that. So you see there's a progress bar that's loading up into. Usually it takes a few minutes. Here we go. Um, so you can see uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on Apple Universal. That way it goes to all formats and is nice and widescreen. The audio here is good as well. And um, you can see it does different audio things. You can set that if you want it a little bit differently and buy it, just leave it normal. Okay, it usually works there, and of course, there's your chapters. And back here, and then um, go ahead and click start here, and um, we're going to go with that. And you, and there's your stop button, and you can see down here it's going to start reading it and um, go with that. And then once it's ready, it's going to basically um, have a file out over here to the side. And um, right here to the side, and then you should be good. So right now it's just me loading. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here, and because this takes a little bit, usually for my computer it takes about 15, 20 minutes. Sometimes it takes an hour. This I think is gonna take about an hour, but I'll let you know as soon as it gets done. I'll jump back on here. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in a few minutes. Hey guys, that did take about an hour or so to get that done, but we're back now. You can see it prompts you with a nice little message um, that telling you that it's done. Just go ahead and click here. And then we're going to X out of this. And then you see your DVD here and the program. But you want to get rid of that program. So we go ahead and um, we, we do that. Click on um, quit, um, Handbrake up here in your bar. And then you go ahead and um, empty out that uh, program. And then I'm going to pop my disk of the drive isn't spinning. And then you're left here with the video file and just can drive there to be a little bit more organized. And just has a no name type thing, so that's fine and we'll rename it later. Down here we have Meta X, which I'll leave in the description and a link to that. So you can see Meta X here, which is a program that allows you to um, basically name your your software, not your software, your DVD. Go over here to premises and click down here on C. Which one do you want to click on? You want to click on data and um, so have these three um, click this one right here and then your country and then where to get the tax from and click on the iTunes and you want to send to iTunes once and it's done. So that bottom one. So um, this is the program here. Um, don't be worried about all this stuff. You don't won't, won't be using it, but um, so let me just get rid of it. Go ahead and drag your program here in the left corner. And it's gonna ask you whether to show music video or movie. Send a movie. This is a movie. Just click movie. Here it is. Um, the, with no name. So we're just gonna go ahead and type in the name here and type in the Karate Kid. Here we go, Karate Kid. Okay, so you can see it loaded here after I hit enter and. You see it has a whole lot of different titles. So I'm going to find the second one, which is right here. So you can see it has the album art cover. And here's the video and different things that you don't have to worry about that stuff. But basically it has a name and then up here and then the description of the movie and the title and thing. So go ahead and toggle all those. So it basically checks all of them so that it's all in the right place. I'm going to change this to two. Here and set of lines, and then go ahead and click start. And now that we have start done, it's going to be recording.
no, I'm sorry, not recording. It's basically gonna be changing the file, putting description and the names in there and all that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up so it doesn't take that long and I'll be back in just a second. Well that took about five or five to ten minutes or so, so that is fine. So here you go, you know, it prompts you to let you know it's just done, so go ahead and click OK. And you go ahead and exit that you don't need anymore. Here's your file right here. Um, it's already in the iTunes, so we can go ahead and delete it here. So drag it into your uh, trash. So you can go back up here into iTunes and launch iTunes. And then you go, let's go ahead and click here so you can see it better. And boom, there it is. There's Cardi Kid 2 in my movie collection. Let's go ahead and um, right here, uh, click play. And I'll show you that it did go in here. And you see it is widescreen, it looks great because I did the universal, so it's gonna work here on my iPhone. So you can see it, it worked out pretty well. And um very nice. Let's go ahead and pause that and exit out of that. So um thank you guys for watching. Um I hope this helped you um learn how to do that if you want to break your DVDs to your computer. And um always come back to the channel for more videos. Check us out on Twitter, Sean Mayer Pros, and also go to our website, SeanPros.com. If you want to check out it's there as well and find more information about me and uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope this helped and I'll see you in the next video.